Hi, this resource is brought to you by the Center for Academic Excellence and the Douglas T. Schumann Library and Learning Commons at the Wentworth Institute of Technology. Pronoun confusion is an issue that I see everywhere, but the good news is it's pretty easy to notice and fix in your own writing. So looking at this piece of student writing, how can we find the pronouns? Pronouns are the little words like it, they, them, right? Those are little bitty words, but they connect to a previous thing. So if you just think to yourself, what is it? What am I saying? What is they? What is them? Then you'll be able to fix your own confusing pronouns. So looking here, it says the detail that exists in this painting fascinates me because every part of it gives me mixed feelings, right? Well, we can pretty much say every part of it. That's probably the painting we're talking about. But given the issue in the previous sentence, the detail, it might be the detail. So if we're saying the painting or the detail, we need to know what we're talking about. So we'll say every part of this painting. That's a way of fixing that very quickly makes it clear. This painting. So the sentence now reads, the detail that exists in this painting fascinates me because every part of this painting gives me mixed feelings. Sometimes it might be a little repetitive, but it's better to be a little bit repetitive than to be confusing and to leave your reader not knowing what you're talking about. It. Specifically when we're saying, uh, when I looked at it for the first time, my eyes focused on the clouds in the top right hand corner. Okay, so we're pretty clear that we're talking about the painting, um, but then we're saying this has the lightest tone due to them being separated and not covering it up. What has the lightest tone? Your eyes? The corner? Clouds? Right? We're saying this what? This part of the painting has the lightest tone due to them being separated and not covering it up. Okay, this part of the painting has the lightest tone due to, oh, another pronoun. I'm not sure what we're talking about when we say them. So we're actually saying the the student was writing about the clouds here. So look at your work very closely. Try and see if there's any pronouns that aren't clear what they're talking about. If you think you know what it's going on and everything is very, very easy and it's hard for you to catch your own errors, ask a friend to read it over. Ask your friend to understand what's going on in your own paper. Then it might be a little bit easier to catch and fix your confusing pronouns issues. Good luck. Thanks for stopping by. We hope this helped. If you need any more help, feel free to contact us at the above email addresses. And a special thanks to our friends at Learning and Instructional Technology.